What's up guys, Sal here. So this is getting a little confusing now. Huawei's chairman spoke to the media yesterday where he was talking about the business they did in the first half of 2019 and also the issues they have with the US government. Interestingly, the chairman said they aren't sure about using Android when asked about if future Huawei phones will ship with Google's Android operating system with full support. He said the 5G Mate 20X will surely come with Android because it was in development before the ban. But he also said, and I quote, whether or not other upcoming phones can use Android will be up to the US government. You see, the ban took place on May 16th and the US government gave them a three months license to keep working with the US companies. That license is set to expire on August 16th, which is two weeks from now. A few weeks ago, the US government said they could lift the ban, but so far there's no official word yet, so the ban is still intact and Huawei's future is still uncertain. That said, here's where things are getting a little confusing. Huawei's chairman was asked by the media whether or not their next flagship phone, the Mate 30 Pro, will ship with Android or an alternative operating system. To which he responded, and I quote, If the US government allows us to use Android, we will use Android. But if the US doesn't allow us, then we'll turn to alternatives. As for how ready our operating system is, you'll just have to see with your own eyes. This doesn't go in line with what Huawei told us a few days ago. They said their new operating system, which could be named Hongmang, isn't really for smartphones. It's for IoT devices and it's just for industrial use. It was never meant for smartphones. And now they're basically saying they are ready with a new operating system if the US doesn't let them use Android. Honestly, I don't know what to think about this. I guess it all depends on what will happen on August 16th when the license officially expires. If the US doesn't officially lift the ban by then, then Huawei will have no choice but to look for alternatives. As for the Hongmang OS, I now feel like they were lying to us, maybe because saying so would keep them on good terms with Android and Google, or maybe because they felt like saying a new operating system is on the horizon would hurt the sales of their current Android smartphones. You'll never know, but what we know is the deadline is approaching fast. Let's hope everything gets sorted out and the Mate 30 Pro will indeed come with Android. Also, the Mate 30 Pro will use Samsung's display. It will have a waterfall design where the screen edges bend to almost 90 degrees. Oppo showcased a similar prototype phone a few days ago, and now we're getting information that all the upcoming smartphones that will have this waterfall design is made by Samsung. The Mate 30 Pro could have a 1200p display, which is a downgrade compared to last year's 1440p display on the Mate 20 Pro. But the good thing is, it will have Samsung's display, and as everybody and even their dogs know that Samsung makes the best smartphone displays, so the Mate 30 Pro users will have a good viewing experience this time. Of course, that being said, to keep up with all the Mate 30 Pro updates, please consider subscribing, and as always, I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace out.